Hi everyone, if you watched my what to do with fermented lemons, you might have seen a part of it where I did a, uh, an avocado hummus, one of my absolute favourite things. Um, I first, the first time I had it, it's in a Lebanese uh, store down here down the road, uh, that was the most amazing thing. I love everything that's like green like that for some reason and it tasted so nice. So. I use sometimes, if I have a fermented lemon, I use it in there, but it works equally good without. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So basically an avocado hummus goes with absolutely everything and you could just eat it straight from the bowl as well because it's so good. So this is all you need for an ordinary avocado hummus. Two quite big ripe avocados, about a tablespoon and a half of tahini, a handful of fresh coriander, three tablespoons of fresh lime juice, and three tablespoons of olive oil. You also need salt and pepper, and one tin of chickpeas. Now, to make this extra nice, I'm going to use a little bit of fermented lemons. So, you don't need this, uh, but it will make it especially good. So, if you got a fermented lemon, use maybe a quarter, and that will provide this hummus with loads of healthy bacteria. A garlic clove and chili flakes, that's optional, I'm going to put some on top, but you also need ground cumin a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then I put everything straight into the food processor. And remember to scrape everything out. The stuff that's really close to the skin, that's where most of the nutrients live. My quarter of fermented lemon, and this is really salty, so I will put that in before I put the salt in, because then you can taste and see how much salt you need. Garlic, pepper, a handful of fresh coriander, tahini, about one and a half tablespoon, two, three tablespoons of olive oil, ground cumin, and then we want some lime juice, about one juicy lime, I would say. It doesn't matter if it's completely three tablespoons, but approximately. Boom. And last but not least, the chickpeas. One tin. And now I'm just going to test it because I need to see how much extra salt I need. Mm. Nice. Absolutely more salt. And it's ready. This is one of my absolute favorite hummuses. You get so much. Can you imagine if you bought this in a shop? A, how how fresh it will be, and B, how expensive. Yum, yum, yum. That is amazing. And then I'll put some crushed chilies on top. You can have this with absolutely everything. And now it's also got the hint of the fermented lemons, but they are an extra bonus. So if you don't have that, you know, don't worry, it will taste super nice anyway. And this is the bowl I'm going to eat today. I'm going to put some extra dressing on and also some black sesame seeds. That's my lunch today. Maybe I'll have a smoothie as well. So that's uh, sort of a mixed bowl stew from yesterday. That's the fermented lemon. Goes so well with everything. An avocado, tomato salad, um, just some green leaves. And um, this is another, it's a cabbage, it's a red cabbage and apple ferment, a little bit of pesto, avocado, and yeah, that's my lunch for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell button <coughs> if you want notifications on when I make another one. So I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you later. Bye.